It's still the Hall of Chambers, and my guest today is an honorable member of the House of Representatives. He's a lawmaker representing Berniwa Krikasama Gui, federal constituency of Jigawa State, and he's also the chairman of the House Committee on Rules and Business. He is Honorable Abubakar Hassan Bulata. It seems the House is not entirely comfortable with the new CBN's policy. Uh, in terms of its withdrawal limits and also the CBN has also given some conditions and maybe some reasons why it is taking this but the house is not really buying into this don't you really think that this is actually in the interest of the economy yeah, well yeah even if it is in the interest of the economy uh, the fundamental responsibility of the house national assembly by extension is the good governance of, of the nation. Uh, we make laws to make things comfortable for Nigerians. We are serving 360 constituencies. Um, CBN is our own creation. Uh, if they make a policy that would discomfort Nigerians, uh, it is our responsibility to call CBN uh, to order. We are not quarreling with changing the color or whatever of the currency. We are not, that is not our problem. Our problem is one, the timing. The, so they gave a very short time and then limiting the withdrawal. People have money uh, in the banks and you are limiting them to take uh, uh, 20,000 or 100,000 or 500,000 in a week for, 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 for corporate accounts. And this, this would discomfort many Nigerians because we are yet to attain the digital uh, stage of uh, uh, such banking system. Uh, a lot of areas don't even have uh, t access to, to uh, the GSM telefo telephone uh, services. How do you on earth say that, okay, you conduct everything uh, 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 through uh, uh, internet banking, uh, cashless. Yes, we welcome cashless uh, banking. It's not even, uh, security-wise, it's not even good for, 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 for people to be carrying money along uh, so in such a way that they will attract armed robbers uh, to their houses or uh, uh, taking them along the roads. If you, can only, you can only do change, you take into consideration the objective situation on the ground. Do you have uh, the facilities with which to execute a cashless uh, banking policy? You don't have. Now, if you don't have, 90, uh, let me not exaggerate, uh, at least 70% of Nigerians don't have access to uh, uh, GSM facilities in their areas, in the, especially in the rural areas. Services. Yeah. So if you say, okay, fine. Uh, you are adopting a cashless policy, uh, a lot you are keeping out at least 70% of Nigerians. In fact, the only areas where you can get 5G or 4G uh, internet service in Nigeria are countable. Abuja, uh, Kano, uh, Lagos, Kaduna, Portakot. This is the only place you can get 5G. With who? With who? With who? By, by, by constraint provision, the central bank governor is supposed to brief National Assembly at least once every year on esports. It has never done so. For the time that I've been in this assembly, CBN governor has never come physically to address National Assembly on its policies. So we felt that as, as a representative of the people, uh, we ought to have been consulted, uh, uh, especially on the, at this critical time. Uh, this is a new year period. Uh, we are, this is an election period. Uh, there is no way that you, you limit people to miss my money. And in any case, in any case, if they adopt such policies, nobody is going to carry, take his money to the bank. And it will lead, it may lead to collapse of many banks. A lot of retrenchment will take, may, may take place in the, in the banks because if People don't take their monies. 
to be kept in the bank, the bank workers will be redundant. And a lot of the banks may collapse. So uh, adopt a policy that is liberal. People must have access to their money anytime they want. Uh, for now, they should keep a balance between uh, 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 states, areas where you have full uh, uh, internet facilities, where you can implement your cashless policy 100%. For areas that ha don't have internet, internet coverage, you still uh, mix the, 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 the cashless policy with uh, the existing situation where people can, can withdraw uh, uh, money and transact money, uh, transact their businesses using uh, physical uh, cash. This is our feeling. We are not objecting to the policy, but we are objecting to the withdrawal limit. And uh, uh, it seems by uh, there was a response from the CCBM that they are not also uh, uh, being rigid. All we want, people should have access to their money at any time they want. It is autonomous within the context of the law. Nobody is, uh, CBN is a creation of the National Assembly. It's a creation of law. And uh, it is being um, uh, it is being uh, supervised. There's a standing committee in the House, Committee on Banking and Currency. Uh, and therefore, that committee oversights activities of CBN and all other financial institutions. So CBN is not a law unto itself. Um, uh, the act creating CBN Bank make, makes provision for subsidiary registration, like this one that they are doing, uh, changing the, the currency. Uh, this, we, don't, we don't need to come back to the National Assembly uh, to seek uh, permission to change the color of uh, denominations. Uh, That's why we've given them power to do so. But then if they are now taking a step further, limiting now the money, limited access, mem uh, 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 people's access to their money, and that now infringe on the, 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 it will infringe on the, on the on freedom of people uh, in such a way that the economy will be negatively impacted because people will take their money out of the bank and they will not agree to, to put it back because, because if you are now, you take your money to the bank and they are now being asked not to take it the way you want it, it may limit uh, people's freedom uh, of choice and so forth. So uh, uh, we must intervene at this level. Yeah, everybody is impacted. The masses, the political class, everybody, the economy, everybody is impacted by this policy. So do you think it's targeted specifically at the political class? It may not target, uh, it may not have, uh, it, will, it may not consciously, it may not, it, was, it, it may not be a conscious attempt to target politicians uh, and the political class, but uh, uh, there is something along that direction too. But that we don't care. Uh, so long as everything will be done, the fundamental thing is the interest of the nation not interest of a particular class or a group of people, okay? But when you do things that would jeopardize uh, uh, the economy, everybody uh, affects, uh, negatively impact on the economy, on the people. What if they, uh, they abduct someone and they ask, they ask you to pay in dollars? Okay. Or they kill the person? Okay, they are no longer dealing with Naira. They ask you to bring Euro or dollar. How do you do? What do you do? So what do you, what do you suggest? Yeah, so what we are saying, what we are, what, what we are saying is, in fact, now, at present, uh, CBN has juxtaposed, uh, it's operating 
the cashless and also the cash uh, 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 policy, but with a limit. For areas with cashless, operating cashless, you have a limit. Corporate accounts, you can take three million at a go um, for, for, for corporate accounts. For current accounts, you take up to current and savings, I, th I think up to 500,000 or so, uh, if I'm not mistaken. That's the, this thing. Now, uh, if you are taking more, you still pay some penalties, as, 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 even now. Now, why can, what is wrong with that policy? Okay, up to now, security operatives, the, 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 the EFCC, uh, ICPC, uh, what do you call it, uh, 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 others, uh, SSS, they monitor a large sum withdrawals from banks. They can still monitor. But see, it, doesn't, it didn't stop people making ransom payments. Ransom payments goes beyond tracking, dealing with tourists, goes beyond uh, changing the currency. It needs monitoring, electronic monitoring devices, G using GPS to locate, uh, uh, to give you the exact GPS position of, 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 uh, of, of, of terrorists. You don't do it, it's not only through money. I agree. It may limit uh, uh, activities of, of, of ransom pay, pay, pay payment, uh, but it, it's not a solution. To me, it's not a solution. This kind of advice or give absolutely, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. We are not saying they should not change money. We are not saying they should not uh, strengthen the security of the currency, because part of the reason they change the, the currency. Uh, the change in era uh, is that uh, uh, the present denominations are uh, easily uh, uh, susceptible to uh, counterfeiting. Okay, uh, we agree with that. Okay, adopt strict policies in such a way that the, our currency cannot be easily counterfeited. We agree with that totally. We agree that, yes, they can change the currency in line with the law. We are, not, we are not saying that this policy is bad. We agree that let there be uh, a good currency that cannot be counterfeited. We agree. Uh, we agree that uh, bulk withdrawals can be monitored. Uh, we agree with the aim of curtailing uh, uh, activities of, 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 of terrorists uh, and money launderers, we agree. But people also should have access to their money. Us at men, they want it. He said he advised him and he agreed, he has, he has agreed totally with him and has given the go ahead to him. So do but, you think meeting with him but, will change anything? Yeah, well, well uh, I told you that we have a responsibility to the Nigerian people. When a policy is going to impact negatively on Nigerians, it is our responsibility to call whichever authority that has embarked on such policy to rescind that decision, okay? Uh, especially on cash withdrawal limit. It should be increased or the status quo as it is should be maintained. Three million for corporate accounts, uh, 500,000 for uh, current accounts. That is fair. But asking me to limit myself to 100,000 Naira per week, uh, this is not feasible. That's, that's. Well, the, the, the committee, as you know, rightly know, I, you know, uh, is, is, is the uh, is the heartbeat of the of the uh, of the House of Representatives, 
uh, we are responsible for uh, for for the daily order paper uh, which uh, states the daily activities of the house the number of motions that can be taken the number of bills that will be taken the number of reports that can be taken on daily basis so we are the we are the uh, uh, gateway to the uh, uh, to the house so far uh, we've been the most productive assembly the ninth assembly has been most productive so far we have processed over over 1,200 bills. Yeah. Uh, uh, also, the same or over 800 motions uh, on various issues. So, we've been the most productive uh, assembly so far in history. Uh, it's been very difficult financially for us. Uh, but. How are you going to pull through? Yeah, well. Limited, uh, very, very limited resources. Very, very limited resources. Uh, um, uh, but all the same, we've, 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 we've tried to, to, to manage. Uh, we could do more. We have done more with uh, uh, bigger resources, uh, taking into consideration the limited also number of uh, uh, amount that is, is, is given to the National Assembly as a whole. Uh, we are also constrained uh, by the budgetary allocations uh, to the National Assembly and subsequently also to the, to the, to the committee. It's an ad hoc committee which I happen to chair. It has no linkage with the uh, with the uh, rules and business. Yes, it's an ad hoc committee uh, where the speaker graciously uh, appointed me to chair um, uh, to look into the uh, joint venture contracts, uh, joint venture and production sharing contracts of NNPC and other uh, oil companies. Uh, we have not yet concluded our, our, our public hearings. We are still doing, uh, going on with, with public hearings. Uh, it is only at the end of the public hearing that we will now come to conclusion. But part of the revelation, part of some of the revelation that came out is that a lot of the companies, uh, oil companies operating in Nigeria, are involved in tax, gross tax evasion uh, because they make capital claims, capital allowance claim beyond their investments. So changing Nigeria and a lot of things. And uh, we've also come to the uh, realization that uh, uh, there are a lot of malfeasance going on between the oil companies and federal inland revenue. A lot of malfeasance. So far, We've summoned, we've, we've issued uh, six summons to the chairman, Federal Inner Revenue. He, he refused to appear. We also issued him with a subpoena signed by the clerk of the house. He refused to appear. Uh, we have only one option uh, left for us uh, to get him arrested and brought to the committee. And we are going to. Uh, the, we, we are going to do that. We are going to do that. Uh, we are following things gradually. He refused to cooperate because, because of his culpability. There are a lot of malfeasance going on between the uh, federal Iran revenue and oil companies. Uh -huh. So uh, he doesn't want to answer some questions publicly. So he's hiding. There are a lot of things that he's hiding. So we are going to get to that. It's, but it has to be gradual. At Nigeria, a lot. In fact has been duped to the tune of billions, hundreds of billions of dollars. Uh, we cannot take that uh, uh, anymore. Uh, my committee is thoroughly going to investigate that. And if established, we are going to make strong recommendations and we are going to make recoveries. We are going to ask the relevant uh, uh, institutions like EFCC to now enforce our recommendations. They must arrest, detain, and recover the amounts against every oil company in Nigeria. And we are determined to pursue that.
APC, APC is the party to beat in Nigeria. There is no party that is more democratic, more credible than APC in Nigeria. We are very straightforward. We stuck by our promise. A northerner ruled this country under APC for eight years. And in line with our policy of power rotation, a southerner is going to take over. So we, have, we are the party to beat. And you think uh, this will well, guarantee your victory? Certainly, certainly, certainly. It is a grassroots party. People have accepted part, uh, APC as the only party that is genuinely concerned with the interests of the ordinary man.